Death of Darkness by Diane Duval is the ninth book in the Immortal Guardian series, which delves into the world of powerful beings with enhanced abilities who protect humanity from vampires and other sinister creatures. This novel focuses on Seth, the enigmatic and immensely powerful leader of the Immortal Guardians, who has lived for thousands of years, protecting both his kind and humans from the threat of insane vampires. Seth is known for his stoicism and control, but as the leader of the Guardians, his burdens are immense. He carries the weight of all their lives on his shoulders, along with the solitude of his long existence. Throughout the series, he has been an anchor for his people, offering wisdom, guidance, and protection. However, even with his remarkable abilities and resources, Seth is not invulnerable. After millennia of relentless fighting and sacrifice, he is starting to feel the wear and tear of his duties. As the story unfolds, Seth's world is shaken when he meets Leah Summerson, a woman whose life he saves from a vampire attack. Leah, a professor and scientist, has worked with the Guardians in the past, and she is nothing like the women Seth has known through his long life. Smart, courageous, and compassionate, Leah draws Seth in with her gentle strength and intriguing mind. Their initial interaction sparks a connection that quickly deepens into something more intense and intimate. Seth, who has long resigned himself to loneliness, is taken aback by the depth of his feelings for Leah. For the first time, he experiences true vulnerability, both emotionally and physically, as Leah becomes a light in his eternal darkness, giving him something to cherish beyond his duties. The relationship that develops between Seth and Leah is at the heart of the novel. Leah's presence in Seth's life not only offers him solace and joy, but also poses a potential distraction from his role as the leader of the Immortal Guardians. Despite their growing bond, the ever-present dangers that threaten their world do not cease. The Guardians must confront several challenges, including plots by old enemies, the threat of traitors within their ranks, and an increasing number of vampires who are more organized and vicious than before. Seth is forced to confront the possibility that there may be a greater force behind the recent surge of vampire activities, hinting at a looming battle that could determine the fate of his kind and humans alike. As the plot advances, Seth, Leah, and the immortal guardians uncover a sinister conspiracy that shakes the foundation of their understanding of their long-standing conflict with their enemies. The enemy they face is revealed to be a group of powerful beings similar to immortal guardians, but with a different origin and allegiance. These beings have been manipulating events from the shadows, instigating chaos, and nurturing the vampire threat. The reveal of this hidden adversary introduces a new layer of complexity to the guardian's fight and sets the stage for an epic confrontation. In the midst of discovery and war, Seth and Leah's relationship continues to grow. Leah proves to be a remarkable match for Seth, not just emotionally, but also as a partner in battle. Her intelligence and unique perspective are instrumental in uncovering the enemy's plans. While Seth has usually been the one to offer protection to others, Leah demonstrates her willingness to stand by him and fight for their future together. As the battle escalates, Seth's leadership and power are put to the ultimate test. The Guardians rally around him, and together they wage a violent and desperate fight against their mysterious enemy. Seth must tap into the full extent of his abilities, and in doing so, risks everything he has ever known and the future he has just begun to envisage with Leah. In a climactic showdown, Seth's strength and strategy are contrasted with his capacity for love and sacrifice. Ultimately, it is not just his might that turns the tide of battle, but the unity of his team and the powerful bond he shares with Leah. Through teamwork, love, and resilience, the Immortal Guardians are able to thwart their foes and secure a victory that ensures their survival and the safety of humanity, at least for the time being. As the dust settles, Seth and Leah emerge from the conflict irrevocably changed. Their relationship has been tested by fire, and they come out the other side stronger and more deeply connected. Seth, who has guarded his heart for millennia, finds peace and fulfillment in Leah's love. They both understand that the future may hold new threats, but they face it together, drawing strength from their bond. The book concludes on a hopeful note, with Seth embracing both his role as the leader of the Immortal Guardians and his new life with Leah. 
The other guardians are also left in a position of relative stability, their ranks bolstered by their recent triumph and the solidarity they've displayed. Death of Darkness offers a compelling blend of intense action, passionate romance, and intricate world-building. As part of the ongoing Immortal Guardians series, it expands upon the overarching narrative while giving readers a deep and satisfying exploration of Seth's character and his unexpected journey toward love. Diane Duval delivers a story that not only captivates with its supernatural elements and combat scenes, but also touches the heart with its central romance. As Seth and Leah look forward to an uncertain future, the immortal guardians stand ready to face whatever darkness may come, united in purpose and spirit. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.